It combines flying a kite with skiing and snowboarding. This weekend, dozens of people plan to kite their way from the shores of Lake Nipissing to North Bay's Manitou Islands. As CTV's Linda Holmes tells us, the extreme sport is really starting to take off. There are kites, and then there are kites. Daniel Kaminsky and his 16-year-old daughter Sonia spend as much free time as they can traction kiting. It's also known as snow kite surfing. They find the sport both challenging and exhilarating. Oh, it's crazy. At the starting, you, you really don't get a good idea of how much power there is in the kite. And then once you get going, especially on the snow, you get going so quick and you can just like lean back and touch the snow as you go by. This weekend, the pair will be slipping on some skis for the inaugural Ontario Traction Kiting Sports Festival. It's a lot easier to go with skis because um, if the kite falls or if uh, the wind dies or something, it's a lot easier to move around and stuff. But um, hopefully by the end of the winter, I'll be on a snowboard. The event includes a 25 kilometer race around the Manitou Islands, which should take up to three hours to complete. Given the right wind speed, these kite surfers could be clipping along the snow at speeds of up to 100 kilometers an hour. The speed also depends on ice conditions and the size of the kite. The big kites can go in as slow as five kilometers per hour, which is amazing, which is very good. And uh, a smaller kite can handle up to close to 50, which is very windy by then. When winds get that strong, there's a certain element of danger to the sport. If something goes wrong, the, the kite has a lot of power. It can pull you very fast, very far and into trees or whatever. So you have to, when you get behind the kite, uh, you have you a responsibility. You have to know what you're doing. This is Sonia's first winter kite surfing, so she's looking forward to the festival, which will bring in competitors from across the province. I'm not taking it really competitively. I'm just kind of trying to have fun. It's my first time, so I mean, you just got to have fun with it and have a good time. Those who are good enough can always set their sights on world-class competitions. Linda Holmes, CTV News, North Bay. Well, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, Andre sure Corbet, does. yeah. Speaking of cool, cool guys. <laughs> Andre is here. Lots of action on the ice.